oil and gas exploration process is very high risk investment that need a lot of money resources expertise to evaluate subsurface favorable trap that may contain oil and gas please subscribe and press bell icon to receive more videos the overall success of drilling exploratory well worldwide is more or less 5 to 10 percent depending on the area where we are going to drill the well so before we make decision to drill the well we need to take all necessary extensive study of the trap and make the assessment to find out the benefits of drilling the well for that particular trap that we find out with the seismic survey. There are different kind of surveys which we need to perform for oil and gas exploration. The first one, the basic one which we need to start from is surface study of the area where we are going to explore for the hydrocarbon or oil and gas. So for that area where we want to have exploration activity, the first thing we will go in that area and study the geological phenomena on the surface of the ground. We will see the surface rock features like folding, faulting, their rock nature, study of the rock surface plants and uh, we'll see a seepage of oil and gas in case if we have any appearance on the, on the ground surface. We'll take the aerial photo of that area and we'll study surface feature of the land or area. Another method is gravity method. In gravity method there is a tool called gravity meter that will measure the subsurface rock gravity force. So like over here we have 2.2 gram per cubic centimeter whereas this one have 2. So over here it is showing the high uh, gravity. As soon as it reach over here it start showing less gravity force. So over here in this part the gravity force decreases. Whereas again as we move away the gravity force start decreasing. The same way is over here these rocks are less denser as compared to this one the gravity force was more or less constant as soon as we reach near to this one the gravity force start increasing we move away from that one the gravity start decreasing and same way over here this rock is more dense so we have more gravity force and after that there is lighter rock so gravity force is going to decrease the same way over here uh, over here the dense rock the gravity force is more and over here density is less gravity force start decreasing at the salt dome it even decreases further because it's a lighter rock and as we move further the gravity force start increasing after this salt dome magnetic method in magnetic method we find out the magnetic anomalies with the help of the magnetic field measuring tool so over here we can see the tool installed on the airplane and with the help of the airplane we are having the survey and over here we find out this anomaly in the magnetic field. This is a volcanic rock and over here we have a uh, fault and this is the main magnetic field and because of this fault uh, and magnetic volcanic rock we have another magnetic field so we have over here the anomalies. For the magnetic survey. The benefit of this magnetic method and gravity method that they provide gravity and magnetic anomalies for the 
subset of rock, but they are cheaper as compared to the next upcoming survey that is called Sizing Survey. But they don't provide um, any cross sectional view of subsurface rock layer that will help us to find out any crack or subsurface structure that may contain oil and gas. These two methods, gravity method and magnetic method, are most widely used for the mineral exploration. In seismic survey, we will have a um, reflection and a refractive uh, seismic survey which create waves with the help of the vibrator thrust and these waves travel down subsurface rock. When the rock layer changes, uh, I mean the density medium is changed for the rock layer, uh, we have the waves reflected back and on the ground we have the geophones or uh, some kind of recorder which record the travel time for these waves. We know that what time we created these waves and what time they are being arrived on the surface. So in this we will get a, a cross sectional view and we will see that how many rock layer we have till prep rock that may contain oil and gas. With this uh, data of seismic survey, we use a complex program model that will help us to have the cross sectional view of the subsurface rock. The geophysicists, uh, geologists and all our other exploration team members they involve for this interpretation and they work and find out uh, if we have any favorable subsurface trap that may have oil and gas. So this exploration team is looking for some subsurface favorable structure where we need to drill the well. So this is a subsurface rock and it's also showing some kind of a folding or a fracture as well. If you want to dig more deeper about how to drill oil and gas well step by step guide. We highly recommend to take online course how oil and gas well is drilled step by step guide. As the name indicate, I am going to divide this course in several parts. The first one is the exploration survey that include that how surface study is performed for oil and gas exploration different method used to explore oil and gas trap like gravity method magnetic method and seismic method it also elaborate different types of traps as you can see in this classification in pre-drilling preparation it will include the process of making the well site location rig move rig up and after rig up the process of acceptance of the rig by function testing different rig equipment. In drilling operation, this course will cover that how BHA is run, diverter and casing is pressure tested, how surface hole is drilled, surface casing is run, and how surface casing cement job is performed. After weight and cement, how diverter is Diverter is nipple down, conductor pipe is cut, and the process of welding C plate between conductor and surface casing is explained very well. After that, how we can weld the casing head housing and pressure test its cavity. The course also include the pressure testing procedure for the BOP by using test plug and cup tester. This course shows that how we can pressure test casing, drill shoe track and few feet new formation and how leak up test is performed. Drilling of the next section, running casing and performing cement job. After weight and cement, how tubing head spool is installed and pressure tested its cavity. Running hole with a BHA for drilling the production hole, the process of wire line to evaluate any hydrocarbon present in the potential zone. Running in hole with a liner and its cement job will be explained as well. The course will also explain that how clean out run is made. DST operation is covered step by step that how casing is perforated. DST string is run 
coil tubing is used to underbalance the valve for performing the DST. In completion running procedure, it will show that how tubing is run, pressure tested by setting the plug inside the nipple, setting the packer, nippling down the BOP stack, and installing the tubing bonnet and Christmas tree. Students for this course are students going through the, their academics of petroleum engineering, mining engineering, geoscience, or drilling diploma. This course also targets to drilling rig workers like rust board, floor man, direct man, assistant driller, driller, mechanic, and tool pushers. I highly recommend you to enroll this course because this course is very interesting and rich with valuable course content. You have 30 days guarantee money back in case if you are not happy with the course content so you will not lose even a single penny. After taking this course, if you like the course content, please do rate the course and leave review. Thank you very much for your time. You can find the link of this online course inside the video description. We create discount coupon code time to time, but these coupon codes are for limited time. If you want to save money and don't want to pay full price of the course, you can ask for discount coupon code inside the video comments. You can also ask for the coupon code with the email. You can write us email on the email address you can see on the screen and also you can find this email address inside the video description.